Hey everybody, this is an addendum to my using the USB headset with stereo mix with a third party software video. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from a lot of people asking the same damn thing over and over again. So I figured I'd make a, a quick video about it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go over how this works. So you've watched the first one. If you haven't watched the first video, go watch the first video. Links are in the description. All right. The first part is, this is the setup. You got your USB headsets connected to your system, you use stereo mix, and if your stereo mix doesn't work, it's either because your driver's out of date, or you're using a system that has a lowest bidder version of the Railtech audio system, or a non-Railtech audio system, could be anything. If your stereo mix doesn't work, that's not my problem. That's your problem. Go figure it out. Do some of your own troubleshooting. Okay. You also have your screencasting software. Now, I created this process because I was having a problem casting from a USB headset. I've since moved on from that. I don't use the USB headset anymore, but I still have USB microphone products. I'm using one right now. So, what I wanted to do was record without having to get a bunch of extra software because my older system couldn't handle it. Uh, I, I, it caused too much lag when I tried to record, and I, if I added third-party software in the mix, it just got worse. So, this process worked great for me. And this is how it works. So, essentially, you take the audio from your microphone, shunt it into the same place as your system sounds. That's stereo mix. You take that stereo mix, and you record the stream that comes off of that. And this is why you hear yourself because you're monitoring the output of stereo mix. And there's a slight delay because your, your voice is going on a long journey from the microphone into your system, out to the mixer, out from the mixer, back to your headset. That's a bit of a delay. So it's gonna give you an echo. And this is why the screencasting software is able to hear you because you hear you. You're monitoring every sound the system makes. Now. I'm going to break this down visually here for you. Your mic, your system sounds, go into stereo mix. Come out of stereo mix and into your recording software, and also back to your headset so you can hear what you're doing. You'll probably hear the system sounds uh, with less delay than your microphone because there's less of a journey for that than there is for this. So, this actually covers only using it for screencasting tools. This does not work for Skype, because Skype is a little bit more complicated. So Skype kind of works like this. Your Same thing, your mic goes into the stereo mix with your system sounds. It goes out from the sound mixer back to your headset, so you can hear you and what you're doing. It also goes out to Skype, to the other person's computer. Comes out from their computer and gets played back through your system sounds, which goes back into the stereo mix, gets played back to you, and also gets played back to Skype. This creates a loop that Skype can detect. And it goes, hey, what in the hell are you doing? Knock it off. And it mutes you here. It cuts off all sound because it doesn't want a feedback loop that causes entropy that just gradually gets worse and worse and worse until it becomes nothing but white noise and crap. So it cuts it off. It prevents it from working. It doesn't like it, so stop doing it. And to make you stop doing it, it shuts you down completely. Again, this is not the procedure that you want to use. For Skype, you're going to want to use a third-party piece of software. This is what I was trying to avoid. I also didn't want to pay for anything, because, like a lot of people, I have no money. I'm not really sure what this money thing is, but I don't have a lot of it. And when I do have it, it seems to go away faster than I actually obtained it. So, what you want to do is go to somewhere like Make Use Of and How to Share Music on Skype or Add Sound to Podcasts and Audio Clips like a pro. And they go over all the software you need in order to get it to work. And it's a little bit complicated because they cover all the bases. All the software, how to install it, how to configure it, how to get it to work right how to set up your system, and how it meets Skype. Now, personally, I don't like this setup. 
I don't really use Skype. I don't have a lot of people I Skype with. I think maybe two people and one is my mom. So that doesn't really count for anything. So I couldn't get this cable input to work, but I'm not really driven to find a solution because I don't use this setup. Anytime I need to make a recording, I do a broadcast, I use Open Broadcaster. Open Broadcaster is a great program. It does everything I need it to do. It captures my screens. I can choose what I want, game content. You know, it even captures my microphone and it captures from a selected source. So I can choose which microphone it uses. And it records not only to a file, but I also, if I choose, can broadcast to Twitch or live stream or whatever, which I've never done. I probably never will, but at least it's there. And the software is free. My favorite number. Free. Love it. Need it. Keep it. Forever. It's great. So if you're looking for a solution, I don't know if this costs anything. I didn't do any research on it. I just found it and said, hey, this looks like it works. And there's a few people in the comments that say, hey, it didn't work for me. It's probably because their drivers are out of date or they didn't follow the instructions to the letter. This is the best solution I could find. Hopefully it works for you. It's not my cup of tea. But if, it, if it's what you're looking for, and you don't want to hear yourself when you're doing a recording or run into the issue where Skype can hear you and it creates a loop, then your best solution is probably third-party software. And I really hope your system is up to date, and I really hope that you have the hardware capabilities to actually pull this off. Because the more software you throw in between, the more your system has to work and the, the more latency you might end up with. Who knows? But hopefully this will work for you. And if not, good luck finding a solution. Every system is different. Even Macs are different. You have a Mac, and yes, they're all cookie-cutter products, but they are slightly different. Every system is slightly different and will behave differently, which is no two PCs are created the same. You may have bought all the same hardware and built an identical system, but it will be finicky in a different way. So you have to trial and error it. With my solution with the third-party headset using not using third-party software, you need to adjust your microphone volumes and all the playbacks just so. And you have to do it on a case-by-case -case basis for the game you're playing or the program you're using. And sometimes you might need to be a bit louder or sometimes you need to be a bit quieter. And you also have to get over the delay. You have to be able to consciously choose not to hear yourself. It's a bit of a process. It takes a bit of training. And I even stammer myself a few times in the video because I can hear myself and I failed to shut it to the back of my mind. So it's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution. So give it a try. Get out there. Google it. You know, it's not hard. It took me a good five seconds to find this, this article. And from what it looks like, most of it is free software or donation-based software. So if your donation is no donation, then you got yourself some free software. But hopefully this will work for you. You have to play with it, learn some software. Unfortunately, if you're on a time crunch, learning software can be a problem. But if it gets the problem solved quickly, then it's great. Hopefully... You'll find a solution, and if you do, share it in the comments. Let other people know, hey, I found another solution. Check it out here. Or Google this phrase, because for some reason, YouTube doesn't let us use links anymore. So go right ahead and just leave a comment saying, hey, I found a better solution, or you suck, and thumbs down the video. I don't care. This, this video here is just to get a lot of questions out in the open that I've been getting constantly. So... Don't don't worry about it. If, you, if this doesn't work for you, then you just got a finicky system. Update your drivers. Make sure everything's set. Follow the instructions to the letter. And, and everything, it's going to be in the description. So just go ahead. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, uninstall. Forget it ever happened. So hopefully that'll solve your problems. You have yourself a great day and hope to see you on the flip.